Scientists classify things. Um, one way to classify matter is to divide it by its physical state. Is it a solid, a liquid, or a gas? And we need to have a basic understanding of these three different forms of matter. A convenient substance to talk about is water, because we're familiar with water in its solid form. We call that ice. In its liquid form, we call that water. And also, in its gas form, we would call that steam. Right? So it's all water. It's just in different forms. If we look at the individual particles, they are still these little oxygen and two hydrogens. They look a little bit like Mickey Mouse heads to me. So we've got these little Mickey Mouse heads. They are here in the ice, in the liquid, and in the gas. The difference is how they are interacting with each other. In a, in a solid state, the molecules are fixed. They can't move relative to each other. So there's also three states of students. Right now, you guys are in the solid state. So you're all, well, mostly, except for the person just coming in. Most of you are sitting, and you're not moving relative to each other. But you are moving, right? You're making notes, you're fidgeting, you're scratching your head. Hopefully everyone's breathing. So you're moving. So the particles, the molecules in frozen water, ice, are vibrating, but they're vibrating in position, just like you guys are squirming in your chairs because it's been a long, long, long lecture. In a liquid, now, the particles are free to mill about. So the liquid state of students is at the beginning, at the end of class, in lab, where we're all still in this room, but we're moving around. Okay, That's what a liquid is. The molecules are still very close to each other, but they can move relative to each other. And in a gas phase, it's, it's, the particles are separated from each other by longer distances. So this is when class is over and everybody streams out the door and you just go off to, to work or home or whatever your next thing is. And you're separated from each other. You're moving completely independent of each other. And that's what's happening with gas particles, whether they're atoms or molecules. They're just moving independently and widely separated from other molecules. So these next few slides are just a written summary of what I just said. So I'm not going to go over them real, real in detail. So in a solid, particles are very close together. The, um, the particles vibrate or oscillate, but they don't move relative to each other. Because of this, solids have a fixed volume and a rigid shape. You take an ice cube in a glass and you dump it into a bowl or you put it on the counter, the shape of it doesn't change and its volume doesn't change. It stays the same. Um, there are two types of solids. We can divide them into two groups, crystalline and amorphous. In a crystalline solid, the particles are arranged in an orderly fashion. So for students, this would be a crystalline solid because you're sitting in rows. There's order. Amorphous means without shape. So the particles are just sort of jumbled together. This would be like kindergartners at story time. And they all come and sit on the rug around the teacher, right? They don't sit in rows. They're just kind of all squished together. That's amorphous without shape. Liquid state, particles are still close to each other, but they move relative to each other. Liquids have a fixed volume because the particles are all still very close together, but the shape can change. So you take a cup of water and you pour it into a large bowl. It's still a cup of water, but the shape changes. You take the bowl of water with the cup of water in it, and you pour it on the floor, and it spreads out. It's still a cup of water, but the shape changes because the particles move relative to each other. In the gas state, there are large distances between the particles. Because the atoms are not in contact with each other, they could be squished closer together. And so gases are compressible. If you put a gas in a... Um, container like this with a piston and you press down on it, you can squish the gas particles closer together. You can't do that with a solid or a liquid because they are already touchingly close and you really can't squish them together anymore. Gases are compressible, solids and liquids are not. 
gases um, will change shape and change volume. They will take on the shape and the volume of their container because there's nothing to stop them from doing that. So this table from your textbook summarizes um, the differences between solids, liquids, and gases.